Howdy YouTube, this is IT Aquarius 86 and this is a video response to Firearms Patriot and his holiday giveaway. He asked whether or not the or what the US military should replace the M9 Beretta with if they so choose to do so within the next few years. You can tell by the Smith and Wesson case, you probably already have an idea of what I'm gonna choose. I have chose the No, that's not it. That can't, that can't be it. Oh, oh, there's another one. What? Another Smith & Wesson? What can it be? There it is. The Smith & Wesson m and 9. It's made in the United States. It's been in production since 2005. Police departments around the country have already trained and adopted it. It's a fine weapon. Now, I don't believe necessarily that it has to be a 9 millimeter, but if they so choose a different direction, such as 40 and 45 ACP, then Smith & Wesson MP is already chambered in those. Fine gun. I think, uh, really, with a lot of the options that are on the market, it really is, it'd be hard to pick a bad choice. Um, the Marine Corps has already adopted the M9A1 with an accessories rail, but the Beretta, now I'm a large guy, and I think the Beretta is a little, little large in the grip area myself. Um, the gun, it's pretty heavy for a 9mm, um, 15 round ammunition in comparison to MP9, which is much lighter, 17 plus 1 capacity. Um, just a sturdy gun. I mean, and some people may choose the Glock 17, but I think it would get a ding for the simple fact that actually it has in previous Army tests because it doesn't have a safety. It doesn't have a manual safety such as M&P. And there are some versions of the M&P that do have a magazine uh, safety similar to a Browning High Power, but I think that something along these lines of MMP9 with a thumb safety or MMP40 or 45 would be the way to go. Now I know some people will, be, will wonder, well, how come, well, why not a modern rendition of a 1911 such as, well, this Colt lightweight government here? Well, 1911, yeah, I don't know about that. Um, these days, it seems like 1911s have the best track record for, night for reliability when they come, when they go through the hands of a, a custom shop. Um, I don't doubt that there could be a well-made production 1911, but it wouldn't be cheap, which I'm sure when you're talking about not just a few hundred or a few thousand guns, but possibly as many as hundreds of thousands of these guns over the span of 20 or 30 years, cost becomes a big issue, not to mention um, small parts and other maintenance costs. But I love 1911, but I think currently they're better choices. Um, the polymer pistols, as it stands now, have a really good track record as far as durability, reliability, accuracy, and they're just easy for the average person to shoot. The M&P has the advantage of adjustable back straps. I have the medium grip on here now. But uh, I think for a gun that's made in the United States, it's affordable, it's accurate, and it is already proven. M&P 9 would be hard to beat. All right, thanks, and hopefully see you around.